Well, this was another this was another invention that that was inspired by Remo Belli. And basically, what he did is he went down to Peru, and he went to a bunch of schools, and he saw a bunch of kids playing on buckets. So of course, the light goes off. It's like we're a drumhead manufacturer. Why not make a head for a bucket? Because you've got the snare clip, right? And this kind of came later. But if I take this thing and I just put it on, you know, it's a pretty cool little sounding drum where you can actually turn a bucket into a drum. Or if I put the snare unit on, This thing could be played, you know, basically just like a... Right? This is a 20, so it's got a deeper tone. So, so if you can play, if you, people can play buckets now. You know, which is kind of cool. So you go to your local hardware store, especially if it's, you know, somewhere close and accessible. Uh, the head's going to be around 35 US dollars. And what's the bucket cost you? Five bucks, right? So to basically increase the awareness of drumming and get drumming in the hands of people that may be able to, you know, may or may not be able to afford drums, you know, you have a total accessibility point that starts with something as simple as a pail and being able to just remove it, switch it up, switch it out like this. And then I have a head designed for special needs for, for children with autism really really mellow sounds it gives you also a bass drum tone but when you're when you're talking about the areas of special needs this was designed primarily for that because if you if you create a membrane that's very loud it can be a little intrusive to some all right and this was something really near and dear to Remo because you know for him it was how do we build more drummers you know how do we make it fun how do we make it accessible you know do you have to go out and spend two or three hundred dollars to get a young person engaged in the activity of drumming and so those are the ideas that we've, we've taken going forward. And it's a, very, it's a very minimal expense to get people involved in the activity. And I think that's what we need as an industry, whether you play guitar, bass, drums, keyboards. How do we get kids engaged in playing musical instruments? So we want to make it as simple as possible.